right, people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So this week is Red Eyes Week. So for both card reviews and Fake Card Friday, we are going to be looking at some Red Eyes cards. So Red Eyes got yet some more new support. And while they got a handful of cards, some of them good, some of them bad, I'm just going to go ahead and look at the really good ones for this week. So I'm going to be looking at two Red Eyes cards uh, for their new release and uh, reviewing them and giving my opinion on them. So today we are looking at Red Eyes slash Dragon. So yes, Red Eyes got yet another fusion monster. So let's go ahead and look at it. So it is a dark dragon fusion effect monster. Level 7, 2800 attack, 2400 defense. And it is made with Red Eyes Black Dragon plus one warrior type monster. So you're probably wondering like, warrior type monster? Great, now I have to freaking throw warriors into my deck. Well, one of the cards that I'm not reviewing, but they did get, they did get us like a little Red Eyes uh, gear freed esque monster so you can go ahead and throw him into your red eyes deck of course use your red eyes fusion fuse from your deck him and the red eyes and bam there you go here's your red eyes slash dragon but let's go ahead and see if that is actually worth it so let's look at the effect so the effect reads when a red eyes monster declares an attack you can target one warrior type monster in your graveyard equip it to this card as an equip spell card with this effect the equip monster gains 200 attack so pretty much this card is 3,000, so that's pretty good. So I like that it says that when a red eyes monster period declares an attack, so it doesn't just have to be this. So let's say, for example, you have a, a field covered with red eyes. Every time they attack, you can go ahead and activate this effect and equip a warrior type monster to this card, and it boosts by 200 attacks. So you can go up to 3,000, 3,200, 3,400. You can keep getting stronger and stronger. And of course, it does get its effect by its own attack. So it attacks, goes ahead and takes that gear free that you just put in the graveyard off of, of course, Red Eye Fusion and equip it to this, and it goes up to 3,000. So we might as well think that this card is 3,000. So uh, 3,000 3, is over the attack barrier, and you know that's totally fine. That, that's stacked. So let's go ahead and look at its second effect. So its second effect reads, during either player's turn, you know you like that. You know a card is pretty good when it does some shit during either player's turn. That's supposed to be two. When a card or effect is activated that targets a card, cards you control, you can send one equipped card you control to the graveyard, negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. And if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon as many monsters that were equipped to this card as possible from your graveyard. All right. So that effect is actually really good as well. Of course, uh, targeting is not the greatest in the game. You know, it fades in and out. Uh, but of course some cards do target some cards definitely do so the fact that you could pretty much protect anything anything that target it doesn't say that when this card's targeting it says when card cards are targeted so let's say for example your opponent tries to twin twister some of your background or cosmic tackle some of your background you could just be like Psh, block nope i don't think so so uh that is actually pretty awesome that you could just be like block and uh block this from being targeted for example by castell block other things being targeted just by sending an equip card now of course you will be equipping by you know your red eyes attacking you equipping warriors from the graveyard but it just says equip card you have some equip spells you have like a mage power united we stand or moon mirror shield just send that and you know and negate the activation and destroy that card so that's pretty good and just the fact that uh this card when it's destroyed by battle or by card effect you can go ahead and all of all the monsters that are equipped to it. So if you're attacking with a whole bunch of red eyes and you keep equipping them warriors, that when this card dies, you can go ahead and summon all the monsters that are equipped back from the graveyard. That's pretty strong. Uh, an interesting deck that I think would be pretty cool with the combination of this red eyes slash dragon and a little bit of warriors is maybe like a red eyes buster blader deck. That seems like it'd be a pretty good deck, you know, that this is, is equipping buster bladers. This dies, it will summon back buster bladers. You got a nice combination of dragons or a nice combination of warriors. I think that deck would be pretty interesting. So uh, overall, I think that this card is pretty A1. It's pretty A1. Uh, you know, it's not like Media Burst where it's just like, oh, well, I'm not amazed. It's not like that fucking, uh, uh, that one 3,500 monster that just burns you. And it's just like, I'm glad that they're stepping away from the burning Red Eyes. Because I, I thought that Red Eyes is getting a little bit sacky. It's like, oh my god, all the freaking Red Eyes, all Joey's cards, they just burn you. They even have their freaking... FTK, OTK, when they burn you to death, you know? So uh, I'm glad they're stepping away from it, that they're trying to go this new direction with the whole throwing in the warriors, equipping, and doing this thing. So overall, I, I, I think this card is pretty good. I think this card's pretty good. So that's my opinion about Red Eye Slash Dragon. 
So tell me what you guys think about Red Eye Slash Dragon in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this card review, and I hope you guys enjoy Red Eyes Week, because why not? Let's go ahead and do Red Eyes Week. Someone requested I do the Red Eyes cards. Let's go ahead and do them. Uh, on Wednesday, I will be going ahead and looking at the Trap card, which is so good. So look forward to that. And of course, on Friday, we'll be looking at a fake card for Red Eyes as well. Like, they totally need more support, but hey, why not? So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tech Plus 5. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank you.